and then we come to a corrugated tunnel okay so we've uh, been looking as we've gone through these uh, tunnels and chambers for a route lower down and that's just what we find now so we've got an old possibly minor jacket some uh, air filter and oil filter off a vehicle from down here and we've got some old newspapers from well not ancient 1992 let's just hold it still on the Oh, 1969, that one. And yeah, again, it looks like it's some sort of cable winding motor. remains of some more buildings I just check them out in fact apart from that platform up there which is kind of strange I'm not sure the purpose of that So another incline at the end of here, yeah. Wow. He's just looking down into the abyss there. And we've got that level, haven't we? Yeah, it runs yeah, yeah. across. And we're into another sick sized chamber. back into an area with some remains of buildings but relics along the side the old cups of miners would have drunk out of teapot don't think that's original that miners toilet kind of a, a later truck probably just used in this area wow Massive stack of slate. And look at that, there's a cavity there, isn't Cigarette packets, Dunhill, Woodbines. Oh, um. yeah. So that's the start of what would have been the toilets as you can see. Pretty recent don't they? Newspaper. 1995. 
so still nearly 30 years old. Okay, so we've been uh, following this same track out of the various terraces and it's brought us into another area with some relics left. And uh, we've got a winch. Oh, so this is kind of, I'm guessing, a self, a self winching truck. So rather than having the winch static, you mount it to the truck, you can take it wherever you want then, as long as you've got an anchorage point. And it's got the various levers connected to, probably not uh, originally connected to them, but to really old cart chassis. A massive bench vice there and more uh, receivers so as you go along this mine you can only send her for so long before it loses pressure so you've got to then have another tank and we've got yet another air uh, driven winch I'm just going to have a, a look beyond this wall here it's usually flooded when you get a wall like this behind it and it's used as a source of water here you can see the watermark visibly how high that gets sometimes so it's been uh, tanked off to save them bringing water in they may as well use the water that's available Oh wow, it's even better. So we have another massive incline like we saw earlier. Just around the edges here. Point out anything interesting? Well, a sock with Mona Lisa. I don't think that's an original man sock. And we've got a red door. Into an electrical substation. Wow. That's a a bit overkill using that supply for a kettle. Mm, so I wonder if this is a bit of a canteen area as well. Ah, big ventilation fan. And there is something to explore there. So that is uh, quite a huge ventilation fan for this era. Okay, so we, uh, we're going to explore this route that comes off the back of the ventilation fan. And we can see evidence it's had rails here, all the indentations of where the sleepers would have been. It's probably been removed and used elsewhere in the mine at a later date. And then we come to a corrugated tunnel. I don't think I've seen this on any footage. And that looks 
getting that in. Jesus. And it continues up there. See one of the work ropes, work uh, chains. So let's just see if I can get a, a view above all this tunneling. Hmm. So they've obviously done that for safety, to make it a safe working route. Because if you can imagine something, even a small amount of stone dropping from that height, would cause a massive injury. Oh yeah, and then we've got another one of those uh, resistor systems. Wow, look at the fungus there. It's, you see it all the time, but it's still fascinating every time you see the, uh, the life can live. So deep underground, such inhospitable places, it does uh, give you hope that in our last times, they will find some life on Mars. And I'll take you to... Wow! That just seems to be one forever. Okay, so continuing along these uh, tracks and tunnels, we come into another chamber and we just stopped here because we found a couple of boxes. And that's still got a working hinge. No shovel. So possibly explosive boxes and you can see here on the wall the angle of the uh, the drilling marks all at uh, perpendicular angles to the uh, the incline of the sediment close to where we've just found those uh, possible explosive boxes we've got some little uh, Debt tins. So we have passed several big chambers, but we're only going to start filling in now the really impressive ones, and this is definitely one of them. The old uh, working chains there. And you can see how it's being extracted in slabs from a natural fault line within the slate, taking the chunks out bit by bit. And there looks to be quite a lot of iron in there, so not a uh, good quality slate to be honest. Imagine there's a lot of waste coming to this chamber. Too much iron in it. Tracks down, tracks down there though, weren't they? Yeah. Okay, so we've uh, 
been looking as we've gone through these uh, tunnels and chambers for a route lower down and that's just what we find now so I'm going to take you down to some of the lower workings get some old newspapers there Okay, so I'll pick this up when we get down to the lower level. Uh, onto that, onto here, me off, come across, onto there. Okay. We got this. Okay, so that was the shortcut. Yeah. yeah. So this has brought us down to a low level now that we can explore. The next set of uh, chambers uh, yes. and flats. Right, so down to level two, and we're going to continue off that chamber, and we've got a junction here, and we're going to explore the right hand side first. And it looks like we're coming up to a, uh, a breeze block wall. <coughs> so, my guess is, as we've seen in the other chambers, we've had a big winching system up here at one time. Maybe, so this uh, area's ceased production. And they probably moved the whole lot to another area. Oh wow. So yet another big incline. But it goes off in that direction which if we had a bit of rope it would be tempting. Yeah. So we've just explored off level two chamber and we're going to get deeper down now towards level three what's the deepest we're going to get today me our level five yeah So the first part of this is just all about getting deeper down onto level 5 and then we'll be doing more exploring as we return back up.
Okay, so we've made it down now to level three and we're going to explore as far as we need to to find another pathway down to level four. So if we see anything interesting while we're looking for the route down, you'll see that following. Okay, so initially we went right off the uh, third level and that's brought us into a vast deep chamber so there's now no route on it would have continued there at one point in the history of this mine and then they've uh, they've gone down into the chamber bit by bit from the top as these uh, mounds were worked out from the top to the bottom So we're on the side of one of the inclines now, aren't we? Yeah, we have winter on. Yeah. So do you think that's a set of steps down? No. No. It's uh, just drop. I'm thinking the next chamber we'll have to move steps down. But here is something interesting. Yeah. If you will look, it's a really nice tunnel. Oh, yeah. Under the incline. Oh yeah, so you remember this area then? Oh wow, oh yeah, with the uh, calcites, it's not arts hanging from the ceiling. Okay. Wow, I've got a really impressive stack that wall here to create the incline okay so we're just investigating this level that comes off at the side of one of the uh, major inclines where that beautiful wall was Okay, so we just got reported back that's a dead end, which probably leads back towards the incline. And then we've got some beautiful uh, capsite snotites hanging from the ceiling. Okay, so after that little bit of a red herring, trying to get down another level, and it only went to uh, dead ends both ways, we are uh, trying this new route down to level three. bottom section hang on god that threw me for a second I just thought we'd walk around in a circle okay. are you similar does that leak yeah. it looks almost exactly the same as the upper level so we've got an arrow pointing that yeah. direction uh, but I think in this level, we can go here. Yeah. If I remember correctly, it's something that. But this is looking amazing. Yes, it's... So 
So this may be the waterfall, I can hear a lot of water. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? So there's some metal work there. Yeah. It's a kind of a false floor, really. Oh, look, that's the one that's sitting on. Maybe, yeah. yeah. It, it will be, yeah. It is? Exactly. Yeah, so that's where we were looking down on uh, five minutes ago. Yeah, we've got a nice lot of uh, cool air here. Okay, so we'll investigate this uh, route. See where it leads to, but we're still trying to get down fully to level three. And it looks like we're coming into a big chamber here. Wow. Babe. <sighs> yeah. Babe. Yeah. Okay. And we've got one of the very old original first pot noodles in its golden wonder. And we have a set of uh, steps returning upwards with an anrail. So will this be the route back, you think? Yeah, that would be, that should be uh, back. Alright, yeah, and we've got some uh, some work. The tunnel did continue there, but like in the other areas we've seen, they've created a little dam to give themselves a water supply. To make use of the, uh, the naturally occurring mine water. The swing. Ah, look at them. They're not swing, that's what they originally sat on, isn't it? So when we see the ropes, yeah. look that on, and that was where the uh, the miners sat as they was working. So like this. They were sitting like this. Yeah. That's it and then uh, using the drill nice. so that's an evolution from wrapping it round the leg which would uh, eventually you'd have to keep changing legs wouldn't you because you'd cut off the blood supply 
Oh, wow. Get as close as I can because it looks very crumbly there, but don't actually go very deep to be honest. But it's just a beautiful green colour. You get in these slate mounds. Okay. And we have the winch, this winch that we saw, yeah? yeah? So this is the incline. And it's going down, and I think it's going two more levels. So it will give us that we can go from here, or we can find against that. <laughs> so are you thinking, use this, use, use this incline to get down? No, we will follow, we will follow another uh, tunnel there, and we will find stairs. Yeah. Because last time we were going down here and it's, it's, it's quite a mess. Yeah, so this gives you a really good impression of the length of these inclines. And that will go all the way down to probably a thousand foot. So we've got some compressed air pipe there on the uh, little stands, little bipods and we've got some that's the kind of modern compressed air yeah. pipe in it coming off it not original no, it's, uh, it's too modern that Mm. Wobbly wheels, but it's working. There's a lot of wear on the axles. So here we have dead ones again. Yeah, dead end enough to drop off into the cavern. And coming into another chamber. Ah. Well, that's uh, possibly a water trap. Possibly. Continues in that direction. Yeah, we'll go there and then we'll and then come back there. Yeah, Martin, but we will continue here for now. <laughs> 